Hello everyone, Ken the Bearded Accountant here, and today I've, I'm going to review three oils from a company that I've heard about for a long time, but finally got around to uh, making a purchase, and that is Mudcat Whiskers, and I'm going to get into that right after this quick intro. Okay, I'm back, so let's get into it. The price of a one ounce bottle of oil from Mudcat Whiskers is $14. Super duper, below average, market average price. I didn't get the butter or bomb, but I did take a quick look at the price. Uh, their butters are $20. I'm going to assume they're two ounce, and their bombs are 17 So with that, let's get into ingredients. And I'll put those up. Those are, it's a... Uh, Relatively simple blend, jojoba, hemp seed, Moroccan argan, vitamin E, and then uh, blended essentials and fragrance oils. So let's get into VFS, viscosity, feel and beard, and styling. Now for viscosity, this oil is on the thinner side. I don't know if I'd go as far as to say it's a thin oil, but definitely on the thinner side. Probably doesn't make it all the way to medium. Uh, so it's a thinner oil. Feel and beard is very nice. I My beard stayed super soft, so I had no issues whatsoever there. And as far as styling, styling surprised me. I usually like prefer medium oils or thicker oils. This was a thinner oil, and it's got hemp seed in the second spot, which everybody loves, except for me. But I didn't have the normal issues I have with hemp seed. I didn't get flyaways. I didn't have any problems. I've got it in now. My beard is styling fine. Styling was really good. So let's get into the scents. Now the first one I've got today is, and let's see if I can get you a picture of this, Strawberry Hill. That's about as good as I'm going to get. For the scent profile on this, it's juicy strawberry, crisp lemongrass, verbena, in sultry cologne. For me, this was a cologne strawberry. Strawberry is out front on this, and the best way I can describe this is sort of like a cologne strawberry. The cologne vibe is in the background. It's not fighting with the strawberry, it's augmenting the strawberry. This was actually really nice. I, I'm not sure whether this is my favorite of the three scents I've got today, but it, it's fighting for favorite. And it is a light scent, and the scent duration on this was three to four hours. Now, moving on to the next scent, which is Eden. Now, this scent profile is a little bit longer. The scent profile is aged redwood, roasted tonka, vetiver, red saffron, and subtle spice of white musk. And he says, they bring both balance and excitement to this truly artistic blend. It is an artistic blend because I don't know how to describe this at all. It's a very subtle, subtle, mellow, fresh fragrance. I And I apologize, but I can't give, give you any more. It's a light scent, and it had a duration of three to four hours. But I could not, for the life of me, come up with a description for this and describe it except to say that i really like it and i'll say the that profile again redwood tonka bean roasted tonka bean vetiver saffron subtle spice i did not get a spicy vibe out of this in white musk so it, for what it's worth i did super enjoy this but i cannot describe it and last but not least Big and awesome. The scent profile on this one is described as dark fig, sugared vanilla, black oak, paired with mid notes of honey, sugar, and black currant, and top notes of ginger and citrus. When I put put this in beard, when I first put it in, I got the fig in what seemed almost like a spiciness along with it, but the spiciness immediately dissipates leaving you with this intricate fig scent. And again, I cannot just describe... Oh, and I've got Strawberry Hill in my hand. And just to show you the name, it is Fig and Awesome, and this is a Fig and Awesome scent. It is a light scent, 
in the scent duration on this one, I got two to three hours out of it. So, to summarize, I liked all three of these scents. If, as far as deciding which is my favorite, I'm really fighting between Strawberry Hill, which is really quite a unique strawberry. I, I love the way that it's got that cologne vibe, but the cologne vibe is not fighting with the strawberry. And this one had a, a bit of a longer scent duration than the Fig and Awesome. This was three to four hours, and it was a stronger scent than the Fig and Awesome. And I thought I would use the test of which one I used more to, to determine which was my favorite. And I used more of the Fig and Awesome. But I think part of that was me trying to decipher the scent. Uh, so I'm going to say that Strawberry Hill was my favorite. The scent is a light scent, but it, it, it it's more noticeable than the Fig and Awesome. And I really enjoy this Strawberry Hill, and I'm going to be wearing it. The Fig and Awesome is probably the best scent but it's a little lighter and shorter duration so I think that pushed it to the second place in Eden if this was a, a stronger scent it'd probably be my favorite this is a really really nice mellow refreshing scent and I'm sorry I, you know redwood tonka beans saffron subtle spice and white musk it's just a nice combination again these are light scents and the durations were two to three hours and three to four hours for two of them i know a lot of folks out there when they hear all day scent they're like not for me so if you're one of those people that just wants to experience the scent for a little while and not have it in your face all day then these are definitely going to be for you. And with that, that's the end of my review. Please hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, and that thumbs up. And I'll catch you on the next one. And my dogs think something's going on. Nothing. What happened to my constant false alarms out of those guys? And I almost forgot to mention something that's kind of awesome. When you order from Mugcat Whiskers, you get this little package of Creole seasoning, which I had intended to try before I did the review. I'm going to put it in some rice or on some chicken, but I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how that works out.